What's up, YouTube? This is Rebecca the Diva coming at y'all with yet another video. But before I get into this video, if you're new, hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Rebecca. All I want you to do is hit that subscribe button, and when you do that, please select, hit the notification bell and select all. Then I want you to hit that share button because sharing is caring. There's no secrets on this channel. And also hit that like button and leave a comment down in the comment section, good or bad. I take them all. Hey, and just so you know, my comments are always turned on, okay? I don't turn my comments off because of negativity. And if you are not new and you're rocking with your girl again, welcome back, Diva Gang. That's right. Now, I guess as you can see by the title, you're like, oh my God, what, what, what? No, I'm not quitting YouTube. Well, just like others can do clickbait, I can do clickbait too. Now, this video is kind of going to try to be short, cute, and to the fucking point. Because bitches play themselves when they try to come for me. Indirectly. Um, as we all know, those who follow her, lives life. Her life is basically in the toilet. Her marriage is in the toilet. Yada, yada, yada. A lot of us reactors predicted all of this was going to happen. Okay? And it's coming to pass. That's neither here nor there. Liv posted a video because I guess she couldn't reach anybody on the phone of her family members and she was scared. So she did something that I feel was smart because I would have did the same thing if it was me. Where she went on live and she recorded the incident that was going on between her and her husband. You know, basically he accused her of texting another dude, which she admitted that she was doing. and She said she had every right to do so. Um, and he was really violent, you know, threatening, and he threatened to shoot her in her face. Now, originally, I wasn't going to come for this bitch on the fact of it, and excuse me for cursing, but I feel that people need to direct their anger at, at the source and not pick on reactors. I don't see any law or rule that Google or YouTube has issued where you can't do a reaction on another YouTuber. I don't see that law. Now, if that law is somewhere posted, please, somebody email it to me. My email is always in my description boxes, okay? But Liv went on live, and she was, um, I guess, she probably was higher drunk. But going off, because that's the only time she normally goes off on people when she seems to be inebriated. On several reactors. Now, whether she referred to me or not, I really don't know. Because I was busy with the situation with my child. So, my oldest daughter was watching the live. And she was calling out a lot of people. You know, Nia E, TMR, you know, probably Yanni, Bonnie B. So, it's like, whatever. And whether she called me out or not, like I said, that's neither here nor there. Okay? Because after she ended her live, she went over to Ming which is her Mamiana bestie or whatever, what the fuck ever. And she was in her comments, you know, she's a moderator over there. And one of Ming's trolls had reference to um, another reactor, Nia E and me. Now me and Nia E, we do favor each other. You know, we're both dark skinned women, beautiful black dark skinned women. Okay. We both have gaps. I think her gap in her teeth is on the bottom and mine, as y'all can see, is up top. Somebody called her. reference to her gap and reference to my gap. I have an extreme gap, which I do, okay? Because I was supposed to get braces as a child, and my mother never did. And as an adult, I couldn't afford them. And I've learned over the years to embrace my gap. If I was given $16,000 today to go get my teeth fixed, I would still tell the dentist, keep my gap. But close it a little bit because the gap defines who Rebecca Marie is, okay? None of you bitches on YouTube define who I am. This troll, which their name is You Know Why I'm Here, which I clicked on their page and they have one subscriber and no profile picture, so you're a troll. Reference to my bad lace front. When I first started YouTube, the first thing that I said is I'm a diva on a budget. So I'm not going to go buy a $200 wig 
Well, I'm not going to have a hair company send me a $200 wig and I get on here and do a view on it and influence people to go spend money that they don't have. Because a lot of us African-Americans in our African-American community who are wearing hair, a lot of us can't afford that hair. Now, don't get it twisted, okay? I have money. I can go spend two, three, four, five hundred dollars on on bundles and wigs if I want to. But I have responsibilities. My two younger children come before some fucking hair. So I'm a diva on a budget. So I buy beauty supply store wigs, period. And I give reviews on them. I never said I was a wig guru. I'm the first bitch to come in my video I'm like, look, I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to these baby hairs, so don't go by what I'm doing. If you want your baby hairs laid, you Google one of them other girls, them other ladies who do wig reviews, and you let them show you, because I can't show you, okay? I'm that first bitch to tell you that. These women come for the reactor's appearance. Because us reactors, most of us, I can't speak for all of them, but I can speak for myself. I'm not going to pick up my camera when me and my dude get into it and vlog and then post and go on lives. Because that's nobody's business but me and my dude. And if my kids so happen to hear us arguing, they hear us arguing, it's no big thing. If I can't pay my rent, that's nobody's business. So I don't put that out there. Anything that's on my channel, any video that I upload, it's because I wanted it to be uploaded. I don't hate on nobody. I do hair reviews and I do reactions. My hair reviews get way more review views than my reaction. A lot of reactors, a lot of people don't even know who I am because I'm that small on the totem pole. But these weak bitches who are throwing their whole life for the world to see be the first bitches to click oh Rebecca the uploaded the video oh my name is in the video oh wh what she said about me now she's like bitch are you, do you hate yourself that much that you gotta go looking for what people are saying about you really because I love myself. I'm black. I'm beautiful. I'm buck too. I may have bad wigs. But I love myself. And like I said, I was going to let Liv live. Okay? I wasn't going to come on here and drag her or make ill comments about her. Because she is a battered, abused woman. I lived that life. I was in a of abusive relationship for five and a half years and it took a lot for me to leave that relationship but I did I took my two small children at that time and I got the hell on because if I didn't the story would have ended me dead or me in the penitentiary without my children so I was gonna give the girl words of encouragement but then she liked to go get high or drunk that liquid courage come the fuck out and she want to make fun of people and call motherfuckers names. And then she goes over to her little minion channel, Ming, and Ming don't know who I am, okay, but throwing jokes like a high schooler. So I dare any bitch to come for me. I don't scare easily. I'm deep out of Brooklyn, New York. If I can make it there and survive, I survive anywhere, including on YouTube. Do you know how many motherfucking bitches I done punched in the face for doing less to me? Get the fuck out of here. Y'all bitches need to focus on y'all family. Maybe if y'all focus a little bit more on what's going on in your household, y'all niggas wouldn't be beating y'all asses, threatening to shoot you in the face, accuse you of cheating, and then getting other babies. But that's all I got to say about that. Watch the video if you want. Click on it if you want. Thanks for the view, fan.